Dear listeners, tonight I invite you to embark on a mesmerizing voyage across the enigmatic seas, where phantom ships drift silently through the mist, and ghostly mariners whisper their timeless tales of woe. Relax, close your eyes, and let the story carry you to the haunted decks of the sea wraith, where curses linger and the promise of redemption hangs in the balance. Prepare to be enthralled as we navigate the mysterious waters together, uncovering secrets of courage, loyalty, and the enduring spirit of adventure. Ghost Ship Encounter A Tale of Redemption Captain James was a seasoned sailor, known for his bravery and experience on the high seas. His reputation for navigating treacherous waters and surviving the fiercest storms had earned him the respect of sailors and captains alike. He commanded the ship Aurora, a sturdy vessel that had weathered many a tempest under his leadership. His crew trusted him implicitly, knowing that if anyone could guide them through the dangers of the ocean, it was Captain James. One fateful night, as the Aurora sailed through the turbulent waters of the North Atlantic, a storm unlike any they had encountered before descended upon them. The sky turned an ominous shade of black, and the wind howled with a ferocity that seemed almost supernatural. The waves towered like mountains, crashing against the ship with relentless force. James stood at the helm, his hands gripping the wheel as he barked orders to his crew, his voice steady and commanding, despite the chaos around them. As the storm raged on, visibility became almost non-existent. The dense fog that rolled in from the sea added to their peril, enveloping the aurora in a thick shroud. It was in this eerie, mist-laden darkness that they first saw it, a ghostly ship emerging from the fog, its silhouette barely discernible at first. As it drew closer, the details became clearer, and a sense of dread settled over the crew. The phantom vessel was unlike anything they had ever seen. Its sails were tattered and torn, fluttering in the wind like the ragged wings of some monstrous bird. The ship's hull was weathered and decayed, with patches of rot and barnacles clinging to its sides. An eerie glow emanated from the vessel casting an otherworldly light on the surrounding mist. This ghostly luminescence sent shivers down the spines of even the most hardened sailors. As the ghost ship drew alongside the Aurora, a deathly silence fell over the crew. The usual cacophony of the storm seemed to fade into the background, replaced by an oppressive quiet that was almost unbearable. The men exchanged nervous glances, their eyes wide with fear and awe. Captain James, however, remained focused, his gaze fixed on the spectral ship. The phantom vessel seemed to drift aimlessly, its deck devoid of any visible life. Yet there was a palpable sense of presence as if unseen eyes were watching them from the shadows. The eerie glow illuminated the faces of the crew, casting long, twisted shadows that danced across the deck of the Aurora. It was as if the ghost ship had a life of its own, a malevolent force that had been drawn to them by the storm. That night, after the storm had finally abated, and the ghost ship had vanished back into the mist, Captain James lay in his cabin, 
unable to shake the feeling of unease. As exhaustion overtook him, he drifted into a restless sleep, his dreams filled with the haunting image of the phantom vessel. In his dream, the ship's crew appeared before him, their faces gaunt and eyes hollow, filled with an unending sorrow. The ghostly mariners revealed their tragic fate to James. They had been cursed to wander the oceans for eternity, their souls bound to the ship by an ancient and powerful spell. Their only hope of release lay in the hands of a living sailor, someone brave enough to undertake the perilous task of breaking the curse. The dream was vivid and unsettling. Every detail etched into James's mind as if it were a memory rather than a mere vision. Upon waking, James could still feel the weight of the crew's despair and the urgency of their plea. He knew he could not ignore the call for help, nor could he turn his back on the suffering souls he had seen in his dream. The encounter with the ghost ship had been no mere coincidence. It was a sign, a summons to action. James felt a deep, unshakable conviction that he had been chosen for this task, that it was his destiny to break the curse and free the ghostly crew from their eternal torment. Determined to uncover the truth and find a way to lift the curse, Captain James gathered his thoughts and prepared to share his experience with his crew. He knew they would follow him, just as they always had, for their trust in him was unwavering. Together, they would face the unknown, driven by the hope of redemption for the lost souls and the promise of adventure on the high seas. Thus began Captain James's journey into the unknown, a quest that would test his courage, his loyalty, and his resolve. The haunted encounter had set the stage for an epic adventure, one that would take him and his crew to the very edges of the world and beyond. Driven by the desire to break the curse of the ghost ship, and bring peace to the restless spirits of the sea. Determined to help the lost souls, Captain James resolved to gather his crew and embark on a mission that would challenge their bravery and test their resolve like never before. The haunting dream he experienced left an indelible mark on his conscience, compelling him to take action. The crew, loyal and trusting in their captain's judgment, stood ready to face whatever awaited them on the ghost ship. As the Aurora sailed closer to the location where they had last seen the phantom vessel, an eerie silence enveloped the ship. The usual chatter and banter among the crew were replaced by a tense anticipation the mist thickened, and the ghost ship began to materialize out of the fog, its spectral form gradually becoming more distinct. Captain James called his crew to the deck and shared his plan. We are about to board that ghostly ship, James announced, his voice steady and commanding. The spirits of the mariners aboard are cursed bound to wander the seas for eternity. They need our help to break this curse, and I believe it is our duty to assist them. The crew, though apprehensive, nodded in agreement. Their faith in James was unwavering, and they knew that if anyone could lead them through this supernatural endeavor, it was him. With their hearts steeled for the task ahead, they prepared to board the ghost ship. As the aurora pulled alongside the phantom vessel, a ghostly light 
bathed both ships in an otherworldly glow. James and his crew lowered a boarding plank and stepped onto the spectral deck. An immediate chill seeped into their bones, an unnatural cold that felt like the touch of death itself. The deck beneath their feet felt solid yet insubstantial, as if it were caught between the realms of the living and the dead. The spirits of the mariners began to materialize before them, appearing as ethereal figures draped in tattered clothes, their faces pale and eyes hollow with sorrow. The crew of the Aurora stood transfixed, their breaths visible in the frigid air. One spirit, seemingly the leader, stepped forward and addressed Captain James. We are the cursed crew of the Sea Wraith, the spirit intoned, its voice echoing with centuries of despair. Betrayed by our own captain, we were bound to this ship by an ancient curse, forced to roam the oceans forever. Only a descendant of our captain can retrieve the artifact that will break the curse and set us free. James listened intently, the weight of the spirit's plight pressing heavily upon him. He could see the torment in their eyes, feel the desperation in their voices. The realization that he might be the key to their salvation filled him with a sense of purpose. Tell me more about this artifact, James said, his voice firm. Where can it be found, and how can I help you retrieve it? The spirit leader explained that the artifact, a powerful relic known as the Tear of the Sea, had been lost centuries ago in the depths of the ocean. It was believed to hold the power to break the curse and release the spirits from their eternal bondage. Only a descendant of the captain who had betrayed them could retrieve it, as the bloodline carried the necessary connection to the relic. James understood the gravity of the mission before him. I accept this challenge, he declared, his resolve unshaken. I will find the tear of the sea and bring it back to free you from this curse. The spirits seemed to brighten, their forms shimmering with a faint hope. Thank you, Captain James, the spirit leader said. Your courage and willingness to help give us a glimmer of hope we have not felt in centuries. James turned to his crew, who had been silently watching the exchange. Prepare for the dive, he commanded. We are going to retrieve that artifact and bring these souls the peace they deserve. The crew sprang into action, readying the necessary equipment for the underwater expedition. Despite their fears, they were determined to support their captain and see this mission through to the end. Captain James stood on the deck of the ghost ship, adjusting his diving gear with meticulous care. The spirits of the cursed crew surrounded him, their ghostly whispers filling the air with a mixture of urgency and hope. They spoke of the dangers he would face in the treacherous depths, warning him of the marine creatures and strong currents that guarded the underwater cave where the tear of the sea was hidden. James took a deep breath, his resolve steeled for the task ahead. With a final nod to his crew, he plunged into the dark, cold waters. The shock of the ocean's chill was immediate, but he pushed forward, driven by the determination 
to free the tormented souls. As he descended, the light from above grew dimmer, and the ocean around him transformed into a shadowy abyss. The whispers of the ghostly mariners seemed to guide him, their ethereal voices providing directions and encouragement. The currents were strong, threatening to sweep him off course. But James used his experience and strength to navigate through them, keeping his focus on the task at hand. The deeper he went, the more perilous the waters became. Strange, luminescent creatures darted around him, their glowing bodies casting eerie shadows. Some were curious, while others seemed intent on guarding their territory. James had to be cautious, avoiding the sharp teeth and poisonous barbs of the more aggressive sea life. His heart pounded in his chest, but he maintained his composure knowing that panic could be fatal. After what felt like an eternity of swimming through the dark and treacherous depths, James finally saw a faint glow ahead. He swam towards it, and the outline of an underwater cave began to take shape. The entrance was partially obscured by thick layers of coral and rock, making it difficult to access. Using his diving knife, James carefully cleared a path, mindful not to disturb the delicate ecosystem more than necessary. As he entered the cave, the ethereal glow grew brighter, illuminating the walls with a soft, otherworldly light. James felt a sense of awe and reverence as he swam deeper into the cave. The whispers of the ghostly crew grew louder, urging him onward. The air inside his helmet felt heavy with anticipation as he moved forward, his eyes scanning for the artifact. There, nestled in the heart of the cave, he saw it, the tear of the sea. The artifact was a gem of breathtaking beauty, glowing with an ethereal light that seemed to pulse with the life of its own. It was embedded in a rock formation, surrounded by intricate carvings that hinted at its ancient and powerful nature. James approached the artifact with caution, reaching out to grasp it. As his fingers closed around the gem, he felt a surge of energy coursing through him. The tear of the sea was warm to the touch, its glow intensifying as if recognizing his presence. With a firm but gentle pull, he freed the artifact from its resting place. With the tear of the sea in hand, James turned to leave the cave. The way back seemed even more perilous than the journey in. The currents had shifted, becoming more turbulent and the marine creatures were now more agitated. James swam with renewed determination, clutching the artifact tightly as he navigated through the treacherous waters. The ghostly whispers continued to guide him, their voices a constant reminder of the importance of his mission. He avoided the sharp coral and the grasping tendrils of underwater plants, his focus unwavering. The pressure of the deep water pressed against him, but he pushed onward, knowing that the spirit's freedom depended on his success. After what seemed like hours of non-stop swimming, James eventually noticed the dim light from the surface above. Despite his aching muscles and burning lungs from lack of oxygen, he continued to kick his legs as hard as he could. He inhaled deeply as he broke through the surface, taking in the cool, sweet air. Captain James emerged from the ocean's depths, 
clutching the tear of the sea in his hand. The artifact's ethereal glow cast a soft light over the deck of the ghost ship as he climbed aboard, his crew watching with bated breath. The spirits of the cursed mariners gathered around him, their ghostly forms shimmering with anticipation. James stepped forward, holding the tear of the sea aloft. The artifact pulsed with an otherworldly energy, its light growing brighter as it neared the spirits. He could feel the power emanating from it, a force so ancient and potent that it sent a shiver down his spine. The ghostly mariners, once filled with despair, now gazed at the gem with hope in their hollow eyes. With this artifact, James began, his voice steady and filled with purpose. We will break the curse that has bound you to this ship for centuries. May you find peace at last. As he spoke, a powerful surge of energy erupted from the tear of the sea. The light enveloped the entire ship, bathing it in a radiant glow. The air crackled with magic, and the ship's timbers groaned as if awakening from a long slumber. The spirits of the mariners glowed with an intense light, their forms becoming more solid and vibrant. The curse that had held them in its grip for so long began to unravel. The dark tendrils of magic that had bound their souls to the ship dissipated, replaced by a warm, golden light. The ghostly mariners looked at each other in amazement, feeling the weight of their torment lift from their shoulders. One by one, the spirits approached James, their expressions filled with gratitude. The first spirit, the leader who had revealed the curse to James stepped forward. Thank you, Captain James, the spirit said, its voice no longer echoing with sorrow. You have given us the freedom we never thought we'd see again. We are eternally grateful. James nodded, his heart swelling with a mixture of relief and pride. It was my honor to help you, he replied. May you find the peace you deserve. As the energy from the tear of the sea continued to envelop the ship, the ghostly mariners began to fade. Their forms grew fainter, their outlines dissolving into the mist. They smiled at James and his crew, their expressions serene and content. With a final nod of thanks, they disappeared completely, leaving behind only the soft glow of the artifact. The phantom ship itself, now freed from the curse, began to change. The tattered sails and decayed hull shimmered with light, slowly disintegrating into the mist. The ship's ethereal glow dimmed, and it gradually vanished leaving only the sound of the waves and the gentle rocking of the aurora. James stood on the deck, the tear of the sea still glowing softly in his hand. The silence that followed was profound, a stark contrast to the chaos and turmoil they had faced. The crew, who had watched the entire scene unfold, erupted into cheers and applause. They gathered around James, clapping him on the back and expressing their admiration for his bravery. As the excitement died down, James took a moment to reflect on their journey. The mission had been fraught with danger and uncertainty, but it had also brought out the best in him and his crew. They had faced their fears, stood together in the face of adversity and emerged victorious. The experience had taught them invaluable lessons about courage, loyalty, and redemption. 
James and his crew returned to their own vessel, feeling a profound sense of fulfillment. The Aurora, once again their safe haven, felt like home. The weight of their accomplishment settled over them, bringing a sense of peace and closure. They had not only freed the spirits of the cursed mariners, but also grown stronger and more united as a crew. As they sailed away from the side of the phantom ship, the sun began to rise, casting a golden light over the ocean. The mist cleared, revealing a calm and tranquil sea. James stood at the helm, his gaze fixed on the horizon. He knew that this journey would leave an indelible mark on his soul, shaping him into a wiser and more compassionate leader. The crew, inspired by their captain's resolve and bravery, carried the lessons they had learned with them. They sailed onward, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, knowing that they could overcome any obstacle as long as they stood together. The legend of Captain James and the ghost ship would be told for generations. A tale of redemption, courage, and the unbreakable bond between a captain and his crew. Dear listeners, may your dreams be filled with the echoes of the sea and your heart with the courage of a true sailor. Good night, and may you sleep peacefully until we meet again for another enchanting adventure on the high seas.